would Chuck Green do? Well, I can say for certain he'd be playing Dead Rising 2 because this game is freaking awesome! Now, a great way to sum this up is its gameplay. It's fun and enjoyable, straight to the point. Capcom has made a big focus on just killing zombies in a big environment rather than story with zombies. Such things have been improved as the number of zombies and the fact that you have a like the mall open to you. If you can go back to the first one, the mall is a bit more closed off and places opened up as you progress through the story. This time it feels like the other way around where the majority of the malls opened up to you. Some areas open up through the story's progress, which don't really offer a whole lot, so it's not like a big deal if you don't go through the story. Another thing that's been brought to this game is combining weapons. This is hilarious, just seeing what weapons you can combine with, because half the stuff that they show you, you don't even think about combining half the time. Things like the paddle saw and a spiky batter in there, you got this bucket drill thing that like destroys zombies' heads. Uh, you got like a guitar and amp that you can combine, which is really crazy. And you can even combine, make a, like a beer hat, which is pretty hilarious on its own. The story this time around feels a bit more believable than the first one. Chuck Green enters this thing called Terror's Reality. It's a game show where these guys have taken advantage of the zombie scenario and made it so people go in, kill zombies, to win money. That feels a little bit more be believable than going around and trying to cover a story. No offense, Frank West. On top of that, after he's completed the game show, he's framed for releasing the zombies into the mall. And on top of that, next to clearing his name, he has to save his daughter, who's been bitten by a zombie, so he has to give her Zombrex every once in a while. And let me be honest with you, you gotta save this kid. She loves Mega Man, and that's all good in my books. Another thing that's been improved is the controls. They have been, they feel a lot better and they feel like more smoother and they're not as, I don't know, clunky might not be the right word, but it's the best thing I could get across. And a great way to show that is the fact that you get to move around with your gun. In the first one, you were stationary with it, which some people could argue is to invoke fear, but let's be honest here. Dead Rising 2, or the Dead Rising series overall, is like a throwback to Dawn of the Dead, which was a humorous take on the zombie invasion. And this feels like a tribute almost, so it's not trying to provoke fear as much as it is trying to take uh, the humor, humor in the zombie invasion a little bit serious. Just a tiny bit. <coughs> Another thing that's been added to this is multiplayer. You got two-player co-op online where you get to go into the mall and kill zombies with a friend. That sounds pretty fun. Unfortunately, it's not offline or even a system like it's not even involved, but beggars can't be choosers. Another thing is Terror's Reality, where you get to actually play the game show against other, three other people. This feels like a completely different game overall, where it involves sort of mini games killing, involve killing zombies, which I gotta say is a lot of fun. Overall, I'm gonna be giving this game a 9 out of 10. It's fun and it's enjoyable, but you know. It feels like they could have done maybe a system link or offline multiplayer for some of the things. And maybe adding two more players to the multiplayer co-op would have, you know, been a little bit more fun. Because, you know, two is fine, but four is a freaking party, is how I like to put it. But, nevertheless, it's a fun and enjoyable game. And if you love just killing zombies, this game is meant for you. This game is fantastic. Lose your head, or just maybe, your heart. Open yourself up in Fortune City.